Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Before I talk to you about the programs I use and how I exactly make my videos, I first want to encourage you to go to the comment section of any of my videos because in the comment section, I have a long comment with a bunch of evidence in favor of Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're just a skeptic, please read this evidence and examine it. And if, you're a, if you are a Christian, I also encourage you to read this evidence and please spread this evidence. You can copy paste this and post it on social media or you can print it out and give it to people. Also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message. Please, I also encourage you to read this message and spread it. Now getting on to how I exactly make my videos and what programs I use. Um, to start off, for all my video production, I use Windows Movie Maker. The icon looks like that. This program is completely free and it comes free on all Windows computers. I'm not sure if, you, if you're on a Mac, I'm not sure if you can just go to the Windows website or download it. But if, you're, if you have a Windows computer, you have this program. And like I said, that's what the icon looks like. So look for this in your computer. Also, the other two programs I use are called Ice Cream Screen Recorder. This program that you're this video that you're watching, I made it with this program. Since I'm using this program right now, I can't really open it and show you how it works. But it's very simple. You just you pretty much your the the way the program works is you set like how big you want how, which part of your screen you want recorded. For this video, I put it so that my whole screen gets recorded. And when the recording starts, the program based the video is going to be whatever's, whatever's on your screen and your voice over it. So it's, like I said, it's very simple to use. A child could use this. And the other program I use is called 4K Video Downloader. I use this program to download other videos from YouTube and reshare it on my, on my channel. So but when I started my YouTube, I made my videos very simple. And the way it was is it was just a picture and my voice over it. Um, so like let's say you want to make a video with this picture. It's a picture of a cross, right? And you just want this to be like a two minute long video Just a picture and you talking over it So you post this picture you just drag and drop it to Windows Movie Maker and as you see it says uh, The video is seven seconds long. So you want to make this a two minute video So all you do is copy paste the picture until you have two minutes worth of content Oops. We have two minutes and six seconds worth of content right here. And then you put the cursor in the beginning and then you go to record narration. You press record and you start talking over the video. Once you're done with that and you're happy with the video you made, you just want to go to go to file, save movie for high, and save it for high definition display. I encourage you to save it for high def because to get the best quality video, like so you can get the, pretty much the best quality content video and i'm sure the users on your channel will appreciate that too and i get it the high saving it in high de depth takes a little bit more space on your computer but if you ask me it's worth it and so yeah that's one way to make a video that's very basic very simple and making videos with the ice cream screen recorder and these two programs like they're completely free i'll include a link in the description box of this video the link to where you can download these programs and the same thing when you're when you're recording in with ice cream it's the file looks like this and just the same thing you just drag and drop it'll save over here and then all you got to do is thing you, you save the movie as high def again and you just drag it and post it on youtube and another way to make videos is let's say you want to upload a video of a, a a testimony of a muslim that saw jesus right so it's Google Muslims saw Jesus and let's say you want to upload this testimony so you just click on the video you just copy paste the link you open 4k video downloader and you just paste the link here and then it'll give you the options of how you want to download it so for this one um, the video doesn't come in 1080p because the person that uploaded this video didn't put it in 1080p. So you can download it in 240p. And you just press download. And when you're done downloading that, the video should the file format should look something like this. And once again, you just drag and drop. You drag it, you drop it to Windows Movie Maker. And if this is how you want to upload it, you're satisfied with this. You go to file, save movie, once again, for high definition display. But if you're not satisfied with this, you want to put like a title or captions, you can also do that. So you just go to title, 
you can put a title my title and if you want to put credits you can also put credits my credits and then if you want to put like a transition between your title and the actual video you just click in the middle you go to animations and you have a long list of animations to choose from and like let's say you want to put this and when you play the video that that those circles appear and the same thing over here you'll just put it in the middle and then you go and pick the animation and when you're done you save it and also once you're done windows movie maker saves your saves your movie um you like let's say this is the movie that windows movie maker saves right you and you want to upload this to youtube so you'll just open up your browser you go to youtube and there should be a place over here called upload we click on it and you'll just drag this file over and it'll start uploading and then you have to put your title let's say the video is a testimony of a muslim man that encountered christ and converted you will put you'll put an interesting title muslim man sees jesus christ and you can also put a description in the description of all my videos i have the same message and but you can put whatever you want over here pretty much you can like in the beginning you can put like a like a little summary of how the of a little summary of what the video is about don't put too much but just like two to three sentences should be good i don't put that for all my videos but some of them i have a summary and the tags also the tags are very important i would say they're as important as the title of the video so you want to put you want the youtube gives you a limit of how many tags you can put you want to put my advice to you is put relevant tags and put as many re relevant tags as you can don't put like random stuff like let's say the video is about a muslim converting to christianity you would put islam muslim conversion conversion god allah bible quran muslim sees jesus and yeah put more than this if you ask me this is way too little too little tags you can put put a lot more than that and you'll see when you when you get to the limit it will say that your tags are too long and you got to take a few off and then you'll be able to publish it so when you have your title set you have your description set and you have your tag set you just press publish and on a final note you can also put a custom thumbnail so if you don't like the thumbnail of the video you can put a custom one and i'm not sure if probably in the future i'll make a video about how i make my custom thumbnails because for some videos i have custom thumbnails um i'll probably talk to you about how i make that like how i get the size perfect so it looks the best and that you'll get more views pretty much and like I said, you can, if you don't want to make a video of you talking over it, you can find testimonies, interesting testimonies. And with 4K Video Downloader, just download it, put it on Windows Movie Maker and make it. I mean, this, these programs are so easy, ch children can use them. And a lot of these testimonies, some of them are made by CBN, Christian Broadcasting Network. So they let you use their testimonies. So but they will put ads on your videos and if you ask me that's pretty fair you're using their content and they'll put ads on your videos and they'll make some money off your video so but some of them you can use it if it's by cbn you can use it for sure so yeah you're not gonna have any legal troubles because they they let you use their copyright and youtube will say oh cbn owns this copyright and but they'll let you use it if you put if they put ads on your video and like i said these are the thumbnails you can choose any of them or you can upload your custom one also guys on a final note i want to encourage you if you've had supernatural revelation if you had dreams and visions i encourage you to start making videos because making these videos is very easy it's simple a child can do it and if you can bring people to christ with your testimony just please make these videos and if you have any questions if you have any concerns please comment down below i'll, I'll address your questions i'll help you out i'll show you how you can make it and like I said, it's very easy and it'll really be a shame if you have like great testimonies. Like let's say you, you had a vision of Jesus and you saw him. It'd really be a shame if, if you did not share it because by sharing him, you'll bring people to Christ. And like the Bible says, the, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are a few. So we need as many people 
getting into the YouTube ministry as possible. And if you and if you have not experienced anything supernatural, you can make you can start your own ministry and you can do Bible readings or any like any like you can you can do a Christian apologetics or you can read up on apologetics and make videos on how to defend the faith. So it's not all about dreams and visions and supernatural testimonies there's lots of christian channels that they do christian apologetics and they defend the faith and they have wonderful content so please i encourage you pray about this pray that god move your spirit so you start making videos and he performs miracle through your ministries and like i said i'm here you can ask me any questions you would like i'll help you out and i'll help you get your ministry started so thank you for watching and that's what I wanted. That's how I wanted to end the video. God bless, guys.